I decided to do a little bit of research on stocks and occasionally I do stocks, uh, real estate, things like that and uh, as my regular followers know I've used some forbidden words recently and was uh, demonetized so what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll through the uh, information that I collected and instead of saying the words let you look at them and so basically I'm going to tell you in a nutshell and then I'm going to give you the links below so you can watch these yourself they're all YouTube videos this particular gentleman Alessio Rastani is a uh, market analyst and he is saying that down the road not not right now I mean right now uh, cases for uh, the independent intervening cause or the um, the independent you know what's been causing uh, a little bit of a stir a little bit of economic tension also people have uh, also had some health concerns this you know I just uh, want you to know that the numbers are getting lower on that right now this was a very nice uh, rendition that Dr. Vong did on his assessment although he does use cuss words so fair warning um, so anyway this is going to affect the economy how well we respond to this and I was doing a little research in companies to invest in and I really think Alphabet Inc. is a great company to invest in but as I was talking uh, before I wanted to uh, let you know that um, I've, I've mentioned this before we're going to shift away from fossil fuels I, I don't know that might have gotten me in trouble but I'm going to say it again and um, it might, it, I said it's going to be phased in, so it could be over the next 25 years. Now, Apple and Alphabet have been investing in electronic vehicles. And I mentioned this before, but if you didn't see the, the video I'm talking about, you probably wouldn't know. So another big one is Thorium. So, so the markets are going to shift a little bit as far as I can tell and this is what I uh, was getting uh, the gist of you know I was going on Bloomberg and other outlets like that and I was looking at these videos and um, so the economy is probably going to continue to get better especially since the numbers of the health concerns are going down but as I mentioned, uh, Florida is a state in the United States that is very liberal and uh, very free. They, they, they value their freedom, their liberties, liberal liberties, but they're actually very conservative, right? And uh, they're having the Super Bowl. They're being super careful. They're uh, having the stadium not filled at capacity and everybody that's in the stadium has had a vaccine however the people in the streets and are, are having parties and restaurants locally people aren't wearing masks so um, there's probably going to be another wave according to a, a lot of people especially uh, after spring break sometime in March but actually I was looking around to see if I could find anybody else that agreed with this gentleman and I found uh, another interview where they were saying yes it's probably gonna happen but it's not gonna probably happen for uh, another year so in other words things are gonna continue to the bubbles gonna start to fill up and then it's gonna pop <clears throat> and and actually in one of these videos they were saying there were a couple of bubbles this particular guy he's the one that's saying it's not gonna be till 21 22 the others aren't really giving a timeline or a date 
so who knows. The links to all these videos are below, and um, there's a lot more available for you. But I would proceed with caution, and as um, I have a little disclaimer uh, to give you in the end. So these, uh, all these links are below, and I just want to say that um, this is not legal or medical advice. If you do not have disposable income, I do not recommend. Um, do not uh, recommend investing. And uh, I certainly have reservations about Forex. And I actually put it in here, but you'd have to like pause it to, to read what I wrote. So uh, that's about it. Thanks for listening. Take care. Uh, do your best. That's all you can do. And love you lots. Bye.